All right, good afternoon. Today I will be refuting the claim that lifting the ban on whaling instated by the IWC would negatively impact the world. Um, and I know what you guys are thinking. Um, you're going to think that I'm going to talk about how whaling is positive to the world and that animal cruelty is perfectly acceptable, which is not the case. The side that I'm arguing does not take puppies in their spare time <laughs> for fun. And um, we, uh, both sides of the de debate, are concerned for the animals and the social and economic uh, repercussions that uh, whaling does in, in state. And um, due to um, a flaw in the claim, it does not state that the Obama administration does, in fact, um, want to legalize uh, whaling, but not an all free for all. Uh, the Obama administration is wanting to instate a strict uh, limit on the amount of whales that are allowed to be killed. But due to the uh, proposition not materialized yet, uh, I will not argue for what the policy says, but as what the, the, the IWC and the Obama administration want the policy to do. Okay, so for the first uh, for the first supporting thing, um, my opponent argued that economic change would be um, detrimental and negative, and um, I will argue that this concern is unwarranted because um, the Obama administration aims to lessen the amount of whales killed by legalizing whaling and putting a stricter limit on it. So um, while watching is a big concern and because it brings a, a total of $2.1 billion in revenue versus $90 million uh, in whaling. And I will uh, put forth that uh, the amount of whales killed will lessen, so the, whaling, the whale watching industry will not be affected. As a matter of fact, uh, it's um, a poor uh, supporting claim because legalizing whaling would not be an issue should uh, the economy suffer for it. Uh, I would like to say that a hasty generalization fallacy was committed because um, the Obama policy is not um, uh, put forth yet, so there wasn't enough info to um, uh, form an opinion on uh, the policy yet. So um, the second claim that um, my opponent said is about animal cruelty. As is the ban of whaling allows Japan and um, other whaling countries to uh, kill whales in terms of scientific research. And if that's the case, um, the ban isn't doing what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to stop all commercial um, uh, whaling, whales killed. And what do you do with something that doesn't work? You get rid of it and you try something else that will work better. And um, because lifting the ban goes along with uh, more rigorous conditions and limits, and, um, and as a matter of fact, the IWC, the, uh, the um, organization who instated the ban on whaling in the first place, proposed the deal. The Obama administration is spearheading it. And uh, according to Lisa Franzetta of the Animal Legal Defense Fund, uh, even with the current ban on whaling, the amount of whales in the ocean are increasing in population. And um, another concern is that the endangered species would suffer due to the legalization of whaling. But um, in the Obama policy, they hope to um, uh, keep endangered species of whales off limits. And uh, the third supporting claim that my opponent stated was that our international reputation would be tarnished. And this seems to assume that the United States will become a major whaling country where you will find whale meat next to your T-bone steak. And um, that's simply not the case. Uh, the United States does want to legalize whaling, but as I said before, the amount of whales killed should lessen. And um, the only reason why um, the United States would suffer for, uh, with their international reputation would be that if other countries didn't know much about the, the policy, should it be instated, which is not how countries operate. So in conclusion, I um, understand that this is a, an off-the-wall strategy towards uh, trying to uh, save the whales, but um, another ban would not work, and uh, like uh, other countries would not even agree to a stricter ban that prevents them from doing what they do. So this is a try, a, an attempt to cooperate and um, uh, allow Japan and other countries their whaling while um, decreasing the amount of whales killed. 
and should this uh, proposition be instated? Or the economic change would um, be unlikely to occur. Uh, animal cruelty would lessen, and the United States will suffer no international relations issues. Thank you. Chris, you did a pretty good job trying to explain how this is supposed to work. What we need is a little bit more detail, though, about how the Obama policy is really a regulatory policy and not a removal of the uh, whaling ban. Uh, I'm sure that there's some uh, authoritative explanation in the administration that expresses that, and if you could cite that information in your argument, it would be a little bit clearer, and we're not just taking your say-so on this interesting interpretation of what's going Going on. So you want to give us the source citations, especially administration sources that are making this uh, argument, which seems to contradict the advocate's claim pretty clearly. Uh, I thought you did an excellent job signposting the points and uh, kind of undermine, trying to explain uh, that the principle is based on a hasty generalization, based on a misunderstanding of what the policy is supposed to do. But without a, a little bit more discussion of what the policy is supposed to do and how it works, I'm not sure how hasty their generalization is, and that's why I think that you need that data. Uh, but you did a good job uh, setting up uh, your position, trying to minimize the negative connotations that are going to go on by uh, giving that sort of defensive statement at the beginning, and then clearly stating throughout the presentation that the goal is to reduce the total number of whales taken, not to, to remove the ban and allow free-for-all, but rather to regulate it more closely uh, and uh, what we need is some reason to believe that that would work, you know, that it would result in that. It's, maybe that's the hope that it would do, but is there some reason, for instance, to believe that uh, the Japanese are non-compliant with the ban, but they would be compliant with the uh, regulation because they wouldn't feel uh, put upon or uh, because they would have free reign with the whales that are not endangered and therefore the whales that are endangered are less likely to be harvested? You know, there needs to be explanation on those points. All right, thank you. <laughs>